Ironfish is a brand new GPU mineable coin and the mainnet for this coin launches today. So this is your chance to get in and mine it right at the very beginning. So if that's something you're interested in, then keep watching because this video is going to be a quick and to the point guide for everything you need to know to mine Ironfish, including a trick that will instantly triple your hash rate. I'm not even kidding, but that will be towards the end of the video. So don't click off early or you'll miss it. And other than that, I'm also going to cover what Ironfish is, how to set up a wallet the easy way, how to optimize your overclock settings for Ironfish, and of course, how to actually get set up and mine it in both Windows and Hive OS. And this mining guide is only made possible thanks to the Hero Miners Ironfish Mining Pool who sponsored this video. And they're currently doing a 0% pool fee for everyone who mines Ironfish on their pool, as well as giving away over $10,000 dollars worth of iron and fish to 35 randomly selected miners on their pool so check out the pinned comment under this video for more information about that giveaway and now let's get into some iron fish mining all right so what's the deal with iron fish well one of the big things this coin is trying to bring to the table is something called zero knowledge proofs Explained on a very basic level, it is a way to use blockchain technology to prove something without having to reveal the actual proof. An example of this would be that you could prove to an online grocery store that you're old enough to buy beer without actually having to send them a picture of your driver's license or ID. Now, if you want to learn more about Ironfish as a project and what makes it unique, then I would definitely recommend you go check out fellow YouTuber Mining Stacker's video about the project. I'll leave a link to that video down in the video description, so you can go check that out after you've finished watching this video. All right, before we move on to how to set up a wallet for Ironfish, there's just one thing I want to mention quickly. As I said, the mainnet for this coin is literally launching today, probably around an hour or two after this video goes live. That obviously means that this is a brand new coin that doesn't really have any sort of established price yet. That means that we don't really know if mining it is profitable and we won't be able to swap or sell the coins until it gets listed on an exchange. So your reason for mining it should only be that either you just want to help secure the network out of the goodness in your heart or because you want to take this opportunity now to stack a very big bag of this coin early on in hopes that the price will go up massively in the future, which is what we usually refer to as speculative mining. Now, if you're watching this in the future, things might be completely different and maybe Ironfish is listed on all the major exchanges and the price of it might have skyrocketed, making mining it super profitable. But just keep in mind that as of the launch of this video, mining it is pure speculation. All right, so let's get set up to mine some Ironfish. To do this, you need four things. A computer with a graphics card or a full GPU mining rig, an Ironfish wallet, a mining software and a mining pool. So let's get that all set up. Now, I'm going to assume that you've already got your computer or mining rig put together. So let's move on to setting up a Ironfish wallet the easy way. We're just going to download and install the desktop wallet for Windows. To do that, we just have to go to the official Ironfish website. And if we hover over use and click wallets, this is where you'll be able to get the official wallet in the future when it's released. But we can actually already get it now as a pre-release version. And to do that, we just need to scroll all the way down on the page Page here and click on this icon to go to their official github page then scroll down and click on wallet app then click on releases out to the right open up the assets of the latest release and download the setup exe keep in mind that as with all mining software you might need to set an exclusion for the folder you are downloading this to in your windows defender and antivirus software and as always, you're doing this at your own risk. The reason we have to do this is because a lot of malware will use mining software to mine crypto on your computer without you knowing. So the antivirus software will then falsely flag any kind of mining software. After you download the wallet, just follow the setup guide to create an account and then click on receive to copy your public address. This is the address we are going to enter into the mining software to have our mining rewards sent to. Now, as I said, this wallet is currently only available as a pre-release version, so it might still be a little bit buggy as of the release of this video. For example, what I've heard is that it works perfectly behind the scenes, but just that the actual interface of the wallet is slow to update and often doesn't show the latest balance. Now, if you're watching this in the future, it should be all fixed and fully working. But in the meantime, it should still be working fine in terms of getting you a wallet address that you can start mining to. 
or if you'd rather, there's also the option of setting up your own Node wallet using the Windows CLI client. I'll leave a link in the description to a video by Rabbit Mining on how to do that. All right, so let's talk about overclocking our GPUs to mine Ironfish. And keep in mind, I'm also going to show you the trick of how to triple your hash rate, but that actually has nothing to do with overclocking. So you have to stay tuned for later in the video where I'll show you that. Now, Ironfish currently uses the Blake 3 mining algorithm, which just like the algorithms used by other coins you might have mined like Caspa or Radiant, is a very core heavy algorithm that barely needs any memory at all. It's actually using the exact same algorithm as Alephium, so some of you might already be familiar. And I'm only going to show you how to overclock NVIDIA GPUs in this video, as that's what I know and also what most of you are probably mining with anyway. But if you got AMD cards, you can go check out Kiwi Crypto Miners Alephium videos here on YouTube. Link in the description. So, to get the best mining performance possible for the lowest watts possible, the first thing we need to do is lock our memory clock all the way down at 810. And don't worry, I'm going to show you how to actually do it in the mining software when we get to that in just a little bit. The next thing we need to do is lock the core clock of the GPU. I recommend starting at 1425, then start mining Ironfish and move up and down in increments of 15 until you find the sweet spot where you are getting the most amount of hash rate for the least amount of watts. Then finally what you want to do when you hit that sweet spot is to start increasing your core offset in jumps of 25 until you get a crash and then dial it back by 50. So start at 25, see if it's stable, then 50, then 75, and so on. What this does is it lowers the voltage curve of your GPU, meaning you'll find the sweet spot of the lowest amount of power needed by your card to keep that specified clock frequency you set. Keep in mind that it is good practice to restart your miner every time you change any sort of overclocking value. And you probably need to let it run for about five minutes to stabilize before you can get an accurate reading on the hash rate and wattage. And also to be sure that those clock numbers wouldn't cause a crash. So let's get set up and mining in Windows. First, we need to download the latest version of SRB Miner by going to their official GitHub and downloading the zip file of their latest release for Windows. And just like with the desktop wallet we downloaded earlier, we need to make an exclusion for the folder in Windows Defender and our antivirus software. And again, you do this at your own risk. We then just need to extract the zip file, open the folder, right click and edit on the start mining ironfish.bat file. In here we can now paste our ironfish wallet address that we got from the desktop wallet we set up earlier. We then also need to set up our mining pool. So let's head to ironfish.herominers.com in our web browser and click on start right at the top of the page. You then need to find the server that is closest to you and copy the server address. Paste that into the bat file like this come back to the hero miners page and copy the port number and then back to the bat file again and paste that at the end of the server address like this. It is now time to add our overclock settings. Here you can see me lock the memory clock at 810, lock the core clock at 1425 and set a core offset of 100. Then all you have to do is just save the bat file, close notepad, right click on the bat file you just edited and select run as admin and that's it. You're now up and mining Ironfish on your Windows computer. I'm just quickly going to show you how to get the same thing set up in HiveOS, and then we'll have a look at how to track your mining progress on the Hero Miners pool dashboard, as well as the trick on how to triple your hash rate. So in HiveOS, we just need to make a new flight sheet, select Ironfish as the coin, in the wallet field, click Add Wallet, Fill in your wallet address, what you want to name it, and in the source box, I just put desktop wallet. In the pool field, select hero miners and the server closest to you. Then in the miner field, select SRB miner and click the setup miner config link. Then in the section called plugin and device configs is where you want to add your overclock settings. Here you can see the parameters you need to put to lock the memory at 810, lock the core clock at 1425 and set a core offset of 100. Then you set apply changes, then hit create flight sheet and then apply this flight sheet to your worker and that's it. Now if we open up the hive shell you can see that we are up and mining ironfish. What we can then do is go to ironfish.herominers.com in our web browser and paste our wallet address in this field down here. We can now see our active workers how much coin we've mined so far, your estimated daily rewards, and lots of other cool stuff like that. So, what is this trick to triple your hash rate? Well, funnily enough, it's to make sure you're using the latest version of SRB Miner, 
and mining to the hero miner's pool. This is because in that latest version, SRB miner figured something out that unlocks way more hash rate on your GPUs. But for that thing to work, something has to be enabled on the pool as well. And as of recording this video, SRB miner is the only miner that has implemented this new feature and hero miners is the only pool that has enabled it to work poolside. Here you can see the difference between mining on a previous version of SRB miner versus the latest version. And this is with the same GPU using the same overclock settings.